Is your beer mug getting in the way of your binge watching? A solution for that and other trending topics. Houston Life starts now. It's your life. Today on Houston Life, with the election coming up, Hillary and Trump have a lot to say. But what is their body language communicating? Our expert is here with a lesson on body talk. Contouring 101 and other secrets from a makeup artist. And how to bounce your way to a better body. And happy Monday. I am Jennifer Broom. And I'm Derek Shore. Welcome to Houston Life. You know, in today's world, some might argue that the internet is almost as essential as food and water. So let's see what's going on around the web. So true. Here to help weigh in on these trending topics, we've got Lauren Kelly from Mix 96.5. Hey guys. How's it going? Special Good. K, of course, from hey 104.1 KRBE. <laughs> and Memphis 10 from 93.7 The Beat. Hello, y'all. Hey, hey, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Now, Thank first you. of all, let's talk about the big Football. win last night for yeah. the Texans. Right, we're on a roll. We are on yeah. a roll. We are on a roll. But for the sports fans in the room, <laughs> this one. Okay, so how about Brock Osweiler? Yes. You know, first game out, $72 million contract that he has. Right. First game out, that first half was, yeah. It was a little, a little missy. Yeah, yeah. You know. But second half, I mean, brought it home and, you know, 1-0. You know, on one the way to the own, Super Bowl. Uh, Chester Pitt, who's uh, on KPRC, he told me today it's a tale of two halves. The first half, yeah, <laughs> and then the second half, they really kicked it out of the park. Yeah. So that's all I learned. <laughs> from last night. We're showing some clips of the game right now. Um, for those of us who may have missed the game last night because we were doing other things, oh. what, what were some of your favorite moments? Well, I Ms. just liked I just liked seeing Brock Osweiler play. He's very good looking. He's very yes. tall, <laughs> and uh, you know, with my with my uh, little boozy beer, and I was just relaxing, enjoying the game, and letting my uh, dad tell me what's happening because I don't really understand. You know, I went to one of the preseason games a few weeks ago, and I have to say, it had been a while since I'd been to. A football game, and I'm not a huge football fan, as most of really? you might no. know. No, but no. it was so much fun going to the game, and honestly, just the size of the stadium yeah. is so staggering. I felt like I had landed on the energy another there. Planet. Yeah, being there is a totally different experience. And the new you know? Wi-Fi, they got the whole new oh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. Now, if you've never been to a game before, using the Wi-Fi has been horrible, but this year has been really good. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So yeah. annoying people on their phones the whole time. The whole time. Yeah. Yeah. More <laughs> annoying. Millennials. There are lots of freebies. Have you guys taken advantage of any of the freebies today? Uh, Jack in the Box tacos, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Palais Royale, yeah, you know I'm all uh -huh. over that. I'm the phone records all day, so. Oh, Papa John's, all yeah. of them, tons of them. Yeah, a bunch of them, actually. Do you, you know wanna... what you can't get today? What? Free slushy. I know. Uh, Texas what? Texas what? Texas what? Did we figure out why they stopped that? No. Just, who knows? Mm -mm. And number one, it's Monday, not well, we a Tuesday, right? One year, we were winning like every week, and then they were like, we got to stop. They were giving away too many of them. <laughs> As Fud Ruckers, though, you know, you don't, they don't have to win if you want to get some at Fud Ruckers on Tuesday. You wear your Texans gear, and they're going to give you a free sandwich if you buy one. Okay. That's pretty good. And you know, Papa John's has a really great deal. If you use the code Texans, yes. right. you get 50% off your online pizza, pizza order. Pizza night. Yeah. yeah. There you go. When you Always roll up the Jack in the Box, though, you have to say a special saying. It's like, taco touchdown, or t they're going to hate me because I got it all <laughs> wrong. Just <laughs> just go Before we move on from the Texans, by the way, J.J. Watt just put his home on the market, listed at $465,000. Yeah. Yeah. Which, think about it, it's not that crazy. It's, right? not, it's not that it's crazy. Not that bad. But it's, it's in Pearland. It's, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's affordable. It's a, it's a, great, it's a great It's area, humble. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, a real, it's a real humble place. Not in humble, but it's, it's very humble. humble. By the way, did you guys hear that he was at the Dash game last night? No. Rumored that he's dating one of the Dash players. Just feeling that fire, huh? Okay, let's talk about beer. We <laughs> opened the show today with a beer mug. Now, this beer mug, I guess, solves a problem that none of us really knew was a problem. But right. I guess if you're watching the game and you have a giant beer mug that you sort of tilt up into your face, it blocks yeah. the screen. And so... <laughs> now we're all going to try this. New world really problems, happens. right? Oh, you know, so so about there being left -handed so it is. I have to... Well, there's one complaint definitely right. me and Memphis has. If you are left-handed... It's, it's it not going to work for you. Uh, oh, and I can pick it up with my right hand. I'm like, so uh, do I true. just pick it up and drink it? Like with You're my just going to have to drink your beer with your with right hand. Out of a bowl. <laughs> with, with, with a straw. With a straw. Yeah, yeah, what happened to the We're straw? Classy. That is a very good point. Go, Memphis, that I don't know if I would even trust the, the, the selling point on it. I can you see through the suds? Oh, but you know that's going to be like the hot one of the hot items for Christmas this year. Please buy me one. Please buy me one. It's the Pet Rock part, too. That's what it is. It's the Pet Rock. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, sometimes it's like 
15 the seconds. The five second rule is so much baloney, I can't even stand it. And I'm so glad got Rutgers. <laughs> I've got a has demo. Finally, got a demo. I brought, I brought a, a nice, nicely packaged mint here. Okay. All and right. I'm going to put it on the ground here. Wait, and oh. before you do that, Special Kate, for people who are unaware of the five second rule, first of all, I'm sorry you've been living under that <laughs> cold rock. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, if you drop a piece of food, you supposedly <laughs> have five seconds to eat it before germs get on it. But who yeah. actually okay. counts? Who actually counts? No, it's like we five seconds. Go. Go. Oh, oh, no, we did. We did I'll like drop. one, two, three. I'll drop this. Okay. Then let uh, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, Derek, you have it that one. If he's still alive by the end of the show, so, then I will then happily we'll eat this. You know the five oh, seconds. Oh, oh, I, I do it. It's so, so creepy to watch. You know, like, okay, something hard like a lifesaver is really no big deal. If you drop a piece of watermelon in a pile okay. of uh, dirt, or no, like yes. what if no, like the hairballs in the corner of your house? You drop throw. like drop your watermelon slice, Lauren, in the hairy I, corner of I, your home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw. Tell me the five second rule applies to that. The story no. says, I read the story, and the story says if it's a wet piece of food, then it's more apt to get the bacteria on it. So well, just, yeah. you know, don't put that wet we piece on the ground and then put it back on. <laughs> Can we get some watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you guys watch Miss America last night? I did. did. We sure did. <laughs> That's what he was watching. <laughs> Not the game, he was watching Miss America. <laughs> he didn't watch the football game. <laughs> right. First one to answer. <laughs> Listen, when I was a kid, I loved the Miss America pageant, and last night as I was watching it, I thought, why did I always love the Miss America pageant? I am so sorry if you're a fan. I was a little underwhelmed, especially, go Miss Texas, by the way. Oh, yeah. But those yeah. answers near the end, I'm sorry, the reporter and me, it's amazing how someone can talk and talk and say nothing exactly. at all. Exactly. I was okay. underwhelmed. But Miss America, Miss Arkansas, Savvy Shields, think it's a real name or a stage name? Miss. It's such a good name. It's, it's, so, awesome. it's, a good it's name. so awesome. Savvy. Savvy. Yeah. And she's a, she is a beautiful girl. She is gorgeous. gorgeous. And by the way, in case you missed it, Last night, we did have the first openly gay Miss America contestant we've ever had, Miss really? Missouri. Oh, wow. This stunning, dropped gorgeous Look woman. Look at her. There gorgeous. she is right there. Her name is Erin O'Flaherty. And uh, she didn't make the top 15, but she is That's the first okay. openly gay contestant openly. to hold a state title. Yeah. Yeah. Openly yeah. gay. Openly. We know. And good for her. All right, She's you guys looking great. Some viral the closet. videos. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Viral videos. So, you know the iPhone, new iPhone announcement last week. Right. Check this out. Okay. Imagine your favorite pair of headphones. Now throw them in the garbage. <laughs> the iPhone Siete comes in two new colors, hot and topic. Your old headphones will work, provided, of course, you have the dongle. Hey, bro, can I borrow your dongle? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, can I borrow your dongle? Oh I mean, asked Derek this morning, I was like, is dongle really a word? <laughs> it yes. will be. It is. Well, hashtag, wait, hashtag what it is that? What? what? It well, sounds like it's the ad the ad the dongle is the, the adapter dongle, yeah. that you have to plug into, into your the bottom of the port. phone there. Oh, that's so that, that's a real yeah, thing. So that you can no wait, is this the new phone? No, no, this is my old phone, my five, which is coming apart. Oh. The battery is exploding and the screen is coming off the top. Yeah. Now I feel like they send out the update to tell it to do that, so I have to buy the new one. Probably. Yeah. yeah. You it's should a little small, there, Kevin. Are you guys Domino's fans? Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this video. Okay. It's amazing. So this girl so spent 25 hours, wow. okay, yeah, 15, wow. that one girl, I mean, she did it by herself, probably because she has no friends. Um, <laughs> yeah, how much were the dominoes? Awesome That's a lot dominoes. of dominoes. <laughs> no, she's I very talented. She's <laughs> Honestly, I love this video because if you see, it keeps going and going oh, right. and going. Right. She clearly has a lot of time. We got to get to our last uh, okay. video. Now, so this, this one killed me. I was laughing so hard, I was crying. Check it out. Work, 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 work. You know, God bless this teacher. She is really trying hard. Did and she those freak out? faces Wait, are hilarious. I thought that was Rebecca Black said. as an adult. That's what I thought. <laughs> Rebecca Black and Friday. Yes. Uh, she's got strobe lights and it like is that her own karaoke set that she brought to the class? Oh, but she, don't you that, think it's funny how preppy she's dressed yes. and she's just busted out all these you, And, and you know she was rehearsing that. And the kids, if you watch the video online, the kids are all like not you know, feeling it at all. Not impressed. Kids, too, they don't respond to that as much, but we make songs on KRBE, the Rule and Ryan show for uh, the Star Test. So right. we did, we redid the Nicki Minaj song, the Star Testers Reach the Sky. <laughs> Memphis 10, Special K, Lauren Kelly. If you want to keep up with all of them, we've posted more information on HoustonLife.tv.